And no, you can't enter there as Banjo and Kazooie. Not to my knowledge, anyways. Now, I want to say that's pretty much the only thing we can actually do with the bee, but I'm going to still fly around for a bit. I want to explore more, like this giant cheese wedge. Hey! You can't get in here as that sort of creature! Why not? Oh, it's because if I did, I would literally trivialize the puzzle in there. Yeah, the cheese wedge is a rather uh, interesting place. Oh, hey. There's a little thing in the back there. Why is there gelatin in the cheese? This seems like a very bad church potluck. I actually don't- I don't think there's anything else we can do with the bee here. So, as fun as it would be to continue to explore, we already got the eyeball plants and we got the Zubba's Hive, and those are the two main things you can do with the bee. Or so you think. Actually, there's one other thing to do. In Wumba's Wigwam, because we have the ability to fly, we can fly up high and get a Jinjo who is just hanging out on the rafters. That's a pretty well-hidden Jinjo, honestly. But you'll, you'll occasionally hear him calling for help in Wumba's Wigwam, so that's your clue to look around. I don't know why Humba Wumba has kidnapped a Jinjo and was trying to use them for her own benefit, but there you go. We also still need to find where the other Globo is. Alright, we're gonna take the flower over here. Does this lead over to the trash can, or does it lead back to the mainland? It leads back to the mainland. Okay, good. Kaboom! There's a little cavern here. So this is where we lead down, and if we look up, this is underneath that gelatin heart that we saw earlier. Here's another switch! We're just one switch away from unlocking the Super Stash Deluxe. It's 1964. At this point, can't we just brute force the rest? Is there a flight pad down here? I sure hope so. Oh, yay. Thank goodness. We still need to find where the other Globo is. There's an area over here. Yowch! Brambles are back from Click Clock Wood. Nothing we can do there. Where's this plant gonna spit us out? Whoa! Oh, is this gonna take us all the way down to the Gelatin Castle? Yes, it is. Hey, there's a Jiggy down there. Now, where's the entrance to this castle? There's a tiny little entrance here. We can take a clockwork egg in here, but he actually can't jump high enough in order to collect the jiggy, so... We're at a bit of an impasse right now. Oh no! Alright, nothing useful there. I think we have to explore the central cavern a bit more, methinks. I wonder if there's another Globo here. We haven't used the springy step shoes yet. That seems like a good idea to go to next. We also haven't gone out this way. I can tell by the note bundle. This is why I don't collect the note bundles as I see them. I only collect them as they're needed. In your face, take that. 
If we hatch up up here, we can push down this piece of gold, and it opens up a place at the top of the pile of gold, just like the leprechauns. However, we only have 20 seconds to get there, and there's no flight pad, so... We're kind of stuck there. We can't get over there fast enough as it is now. I think we need to split Banjo and Kazooie up now. Our first step is to get Banjo up over here. Which we can do if we... You're supposed to go all the way back to the beginning of the level, use the flower to uh, spit yourself over there and then enter the central cavern, or you can just do a well-timed jump, pack whack second jump. Then we can shack pack to shrink ourselves down and go through this tunnel here. A couple of notes, we need 765 notes for this, and now here. Plant a seed, watch it grow! Up the beanstalk you will go! Is that what the seeds are for? Let's get this new move, it's the final move of the game! The Sack Pack! When faced by danger and jump on top, now in the backpack you can hop! Hold button Z and then tap up C, safely inside is where you'll be! That'll be all! Dismissed! Last move of the game, so yeah. This is the last of the moves for, just in general, but also for solo banjo. Um, let me out. Let me out of here! So Sack Pack is an interesting move. If you hold Z and then up C, Banjo will start hopping around in his backpack like it's a sack. Uh, what this is basically able to do is you're able to hop on top of hazardous fiends like the brambles we saw earlier. What we can also do with this thing that uh, Gendros did not tell us about is we can actually hop across the surface of water in this. And not just water, but all liquids. Which, boy howdy, it would have been a lot nicer if we could have gotten this for Hailfire Peaks. But alas, no. Anyhow. Where does this lead? Is this gonna take me back to the gelatin castle? I could actually dig that. Nope, this is taking me to the trash can. Okay, well, I do need to go to the trash can eventually, but Solo Banjo can't do anything over there. Okay, I feel like parts of this level are very easy to reach, and then other parts are very difficult to reach. No, 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 no. Oh, I can't go into sack pack while in here. Okay, fine. Man, Solo Banjo has a hard time navigating this area. <laughs> Solo Banjo can swim underwater, just not particularly fast. Not quite as fast as Banjo and Kazooie, but you can still swim decently fast if you do the A and B together trick from uh, Royston. Man, I'm kind of lost myself. All right, I think I need to learn what the glow of the end exits from, like how the exits glow. 
is where they'll take you to the different places. So, blue means it'll take us to the Mumbo Skull. Because the Mumbo Skull is blue on this course. Now we can use this. This will shoot us to the Gelatin Castle. It'll have the mall animation of showing you exactly where you go the first time. Every time after that, though, it'll do, like, a shortcut. So, that's nice. Alright, the entrance is over here. So we can shack pack in order to actually squeeze on through. It's very difficult to see that, but... There we go, and another Jiggy for us. That's a pretty easy one to get. Zella, get out of here. Boing. Anyhow, I need to find out where the heck Mr. Fit is right now. He said he was doing the sack race, and now that we have the sack pack, we can actually do that. Because Banjo was physically incapable of using his backpack as a sack beforehand. Yeah, so we can use sack pack to just hop along these brambles. Now... Wow! Really? That is the biggest jerk butt B I've ever seen in my life. Wow. I have I have no words. I actually do have words, but none of them are family friendly. At least I know where I'm going this time. Little blue hole in the wall leads. <laughs> the blue mumbo skull is shining blue light into this cavern. I have no idea. It is nice when the game developers mark the walls, though, to make it less... To make it easier to find your way. It's always annoying if you just constantly are getting lost, because every... It's just a giant maze and everything looks the same. So, I believe... Yeah, for some reason... I don't know why. Shack Pack, even though you're completely inside the backpack, will take damage from the brambles. Whereas the Sack Pack, even though you're also still just in your backpack, you won't. Uh -huh. That seems kind of strange to me. Anyhow, where the heck is Mr. Fit, or as I like to call him, Mr. Fat? Alright, more notes. Um, okay, well that was unproductive. Oh, maybe he's up here. Oh yeah, I think I think he's this way. He's not that way. Yeah, I think he's up this way, maybe? Honestly, the pack whack is probably the most useful of Banjo's moves, because it... A, it's his attack, his only attack, and B, it actually lets him do the double jump. No, where the... There's an entire part of this level I just I can't seem to find. Is it, like, stupidly high up in this room? Oh, it might be stupidly high. Look at how high up that is. Not for there, that's the drained water. That leads us to where uh, Dippy got his water. I hear a Globo. We have not gone up here yet. Oh, I bet he's underwater. Yay! Have you looked in this pool yet? I have not. This is where that... Okay, this is like the one level where the Globos aren't really that close to Mumbo and Wumba. The other levels they really are. Not so much here. Alright. That was just one Globo, though. Or we found the other one as well. I'm still trying to find, though, where Mr. Fit could be. Because I think you need to use the Central Cavern in order to reach him. I'm literally getting lost on this level. I did I did not get lost in Grunty Industries at all. 
Did not. I only got kind of lost in Hailfire Beaks, but no. Claude Cuckoo Land, which is supposed to be easier than the last two levels. This is where I'm getting stuck. All right. I also need to go to the Cheese Wedge. So basically, I need to get higher. Is there like another set of split-up pads really high up? There actually might be. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna swap over to Kazooie, because there's some stuff I need to do is just Kazooie as well. Wait, I saw a Jinjo. We'll get you eventually there, buddy. Alright, let's hatch open this egg. Wow, that's a rare Flotus Fodium creature, if I'm not mistaken. Oh my gosh, that's why I... Okay. I forgot about these things. That's why I couldn't get anywhere. But okay, yeah, because you know what you have to do? If you put these in Banjo's backpack with the taxi pack ability, we will float around for several seconds. So actually, I think you're supposed to use that in order to get across. You can only do it for a little bit at a time, but you can keep putting it back in your backpack over and over again. Oh, I bet, I bet you that's how we're gonna have to actually reach where Mr. Fit is. Because there was another egg over in the area. Oh my, there we go. Okay. Well, that was unnecessary. All right, yes, this is how we're gonna do it. Okay, Kazooie. Couple things. First off, where are those springy step shoes? Okay, we'll use the uh, shock jump disc. There we go, we still have two purple gingos though, wow. Alright, Kazooie is gonna go hop and hop and hop, and Kazooie can use the flight pads, so it's much easier for her to traverse the level than it is for Banjo. She also has Glide, which makes it infinitely easier. Alright, because we glide over to the trash can. We need to use the trash. We have need of the trash can. Now, I, f I hope... Can we go in here as just Kazooie? Or do we literally have to keep this pressed? Okay, we do have to. No, we don't have to keep it pressed. It's just a one and done thing. Cool. 